I'm Dr. Bobby Birdie. I'm a periodontist and a prosthodontist. I'm a dual specialist. I'm board certified in both the U.S. and Canada in both specialties. And to my knowledge, I think I'm the only one to do that so far. Sounds really great. Sounds like lots of information and lots of schooling and exams. Uh, you know, I'm founder of the BC Periodontal Health and Implant Center. It's a surgical prosthetic treatment center in Vancouver and Coquitlam in British Columbia, Canada. I'm co-director of the Digital Dentistry Institute, which is a multinational global teaching organization that teaches global implant dentistry and digital dentistry throughout the world. Sounds fantastic. I, I speak everywhere, everything else. But I'll tell you a story about how I got into dental school and how I got into dentistry and how I even became who I am now. And it's not what you think. It's not, I didn't have this goal in mind and this this beautiful way of going about it didn't have this fixed goal I got into dental school because I didn't know anything about dentistry I just knew an orthodontist was a type of dentist I applied to one dental school in Canada because they would take my dental entrance exam or my my dad exam because it took it so late when I first got applied to the school uh, I didn't have all my ducks in a row I didn't have my get my one of my reference letters in there so what I did is uh, they gave me a rejection letter and then I sent them I called them they said we didn't get one of your reference letters so then I got went to my professor and said you didn't send a letter they send a letter say great you get an interview so I get an interview drive down um, a few hours get an interview get my interview done they can it's gonna be great get put on a wait list okay get on put away list then I get another rejection letter say thank you for applying Please apply again next year. So I'm thinking, okay, well, great. You know, what am I going to do for a year? I'll go back to work or something like that. A week before dental school is supposed to start, I get a phone call from the dental school saying, congratulations, I, your spot has opened up and we're now offering you a spot in dental school at the University of Saskatchewan. And I said, oh, really? This is amazing, right? Lose your mind, go crazy. Go to school. Go move, come move, move provinces in, in a day. Go to school. Start school, hate it. Absolutely hate dental school. Did not enjoy it my first year. Um, I just, everyone knew so much more about dentistry than I did. I had no idea what I was going to getting myself into. Did not enjoy it. Uh, we did stuff in the Sim Clinic. It was great. It was fantastic. But, you know, I, I, I was not very good. I failed my first two uh, operative competencies, got zeros on the uh, how to drew a filling. Okay? It was horrible. I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. I hated it. By second year, I almost thought I was going to transfer to dental school. I didn't like it. didn't enjoy it at all. Until we saw, started seeing, seeing patients. We saw our first patient at the end of second year where we started doing like dentures and stuff like that. And so, uh, and we started to see patients. We go about it. Third year, like it more. By fourth year, I enjoyed dentistry so much and doing things with my hands and, and, and enjoying working with people that I did really, really well. Then I went to pro school. How did I go to pro school, prosthodontic school? I didn't do it because I wanted to or I thought it was going to be fantastic. My director thought it was a good idea, so I went and did it. I applied to school uh, on a whim and I got in two days before I was supposed to graduate dental school, which is a year before I was supposed to do it. Got lucky. Get into pro school. I'm there thinking, okay, well, this is great. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was this hot dog that came out of school. Got my butt kicked again in pro school for a good three years. Then I applied to, to Perio school, not because I wanted to be a dual specialist and be a super champion. The reason why is because everyone that was that talked to me when I was in pro school said, how many implants have you placed? Have you done any surgery yet? Had nothing to do with pros back then, but that's what they asked me. So then I applied to Perio school, got in, and then went to Perry School. And so after finishing my second residency, after going through all that and going through all the exams and everything else, came back to, to, to Vancouver. My first practice venture did not work out so well. And so I had to pick up the pieces and create a BC Perio and DDI. If you would look, think about it from the very beginning, I wasn't a rock star dental student. I didn't think that I was going to be the way I am right now. And I really truthfully had no idea what I was getting myself into. But in the end, it worked out really well. And so I try to tell the story when I teach, when I speak at schools, at universities, and dental schools, because a lot of them are also worried about you know this and that and this and that. And I'll just say, listen, in the end, you gotta just enjoy it. If you enjoy something you're doing and you really enjoy it, like you wake up in the morning and you're passionate about it, it's not work anymore. It's just fun. And at that point, then you get to do it. So there's my two tidbits.